In today's video, we are going to review the Genta 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Looks like we got some screws here. Nice big book, big uh, big writing on here. I like that. So it looks like this can be hooked up in series or parallel. Five year warranty. I do not believe this one has low temperature charging protection. Let's see what else we got in here. So 100 amp hour Genta, I'm guessing that's how you say their name. Uh, if you know, let me know in the comments if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, looks like we got some information over here. Yeah, it just tells you the, the voltage, nominal voltage, 12.8, 100 amp hour charge voltage. So let's get this guy on the charger. So while that battery is charging, let's hop on Amazon, take a, take a look at this battery listing. As you can see here, this battery goes for $318, which is dirt, dirt cheap. $3.18 an amp hour. Uh, that's, a, that's a heck of a deal. All kinds of different options here. You buy it with the charger, which just happens to be the same charger that I'm using from uh, Amped Outdoors. As far as the description here, nothing really stands out. I do not see low temperature charging protection. It says here, IP65 waterproof with ABS hard case. So if you're looking to buy this battery for a trolling motor, like maybe on your kayak, uh, this combination right here probably isn't a bad deal. You know, get, get your master switch there and then get a shunt. And, and what a shunt does, I haven't really talked about it a whole lot, but a shunt's gonna more accurate, accurately read your battery capacity um, as opposed to using a volt uh, voltmeter and then just trying to figure out where you're at from there. I mean, there's graphs out there, but using a uh, battery monitor with shut, that's going to be the most accurate way for you to gauge how much capacity is left in your battery. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. We'll check back in and get this thing on the capacity tester as soon as it's uh, charged up. Stick around. All right, guys. Got her on the capacity tester. We got a, just over 103 amp hours here. I ran it at a rate of eight amps. That's about the max my uh, low capacity tester can handle. Nice flat curve, exactly what we want to see. And then looks like right here is where we cut out just below 10 volts. Pass that test. Everything's looking good with this battery so far. Let's hop back over on the workbench and uh, do some more tests. All right, let's get this guy weighed up. Amazon said it weighed just over 24 pounds. And that's actually uh, high compared to what I'm getting. I got 21 pounds, 13 ounces. All right, so let's test the short circuit protection. Now, a lot of people get this test confused with overcurrent protection. So you get short circuit, um, and then overcurrent, two different things. Um, short circuit, obviously that's when you short out the battery or you get a short in your system somewhere. We want to make sure the BMS will cut it out. You also want to fuse. You know, it's always a good idea to have both protections, both, uh, both methods of protection, I should say. So overcurrent, that's when uh, I believe this battery is rated for 50 or 100. So overcurrent is when you exceed the maximum rated current output. So with that said, let's uh, do the short circuit protection test. Let's make sure we have voltage. And fully charged, 14.5 volts. We'll get our amp meter. So what I really want to see is I, I want to see this battery drop out instantaneously. Here we go. Yeah, 
that's not really what I like to see. We're actually, we actually have a half an amp going through this. It didn't cut completely out. A little disappointed in that. We still got voltage. Well, I suppose we better uh, void the warranty. If you're new here, that's where we crack this open. Void the warranty. All right, let's crack her open. Finally got her, that one kicked my butt. I'm gonna clean up my mess here, then uh, I'll get back to you guys. Stick around. All right guys, finally got this, this lid off. It was on really, really well, uh, sealed up really well. Uh, but one thing I did notice as I'm looking in here is I got something going on with a bolt. Let's see if I can get you guys on that. This one right here, something's something looks off with that. It's kind of going off to one side. Kind of looks like it's, it got dropped or something. And that bolt broke. So just want to point out. Just want to point out. You know, there's no way I could have done that. You, and yet you even have this uh, silicone there over it still. So let, let's uh, let's pull this guy out of here, and give you a better look. But see what's going on here. Not much padding them. They got a couple of blocks in here. All right. So I got that lid off. Let's try to. Oh, just gonna come right out. Looks like. Sweet. Now you can really get a good a good view of that bolt. Almost looks like someone dropped it and then and then they they glued right over it. Just just Ridiculous. Here's a another shot of that busted lug. I just can't believe they put silicone right over it. I mean, they had to have seen this. I mean, I'm sure they were thinking, well, no one's ever gonna see it, then they send it to me. One of the probably one of the five guys that will crack it open. Uh but yeah, that's that's what you you get when you pay for a budget battery. Now I didn't pay for this, they sent this to me. They sent this to me to review. And one of the things I get get told a lot is, oh, they watch your YouTube channel, they're gonna build a battery that they'll know I'll like, uh, just so I give them a good review. That obviously didn't happen here. Um, I don't think that really actually happens because a lot of these battery companies that send me batteries send them from their Amazon stock. So it's like Amazon employees picking the battery, shipping it to me. So I don't think that's happening at all. So what it looks like is they soldered the balance lead to the lug and then they put silicone over it instead of putting it on the eye and, and bolting it up. I would have liked to have seen silicone on everything that screws. Anything that's got a thread, put silicone on it. Keep it from backing out. All these should have silicone on it. All these should have silicone on it. They're all tight, at least from what I can tell. All the washers are, all the lock washers are squished down. Cells look decent. They got dividers in there. They're not bulging. They're not swollen or anything. 
but yeah someone someone dropped that so it did test good uh at bulk capacity i don't see any really any other damage to that cell i do like that their their balance leads are nice nicely organized they don't they don't really cross each other um I would have liked to have seen more padding in here, actually. Okay, guys. This right here absolutely kills it for me with this battery. Uh, this is unacceptable in my eyes. The reason being, you've got a guy working for this company that, that's building, you know, he's putting these packs together. And he's letting this shit fly right here. Uh, that, that comes off. That's going to be just wires dangling inside your battery which is never a good thing no this is absolutely garbage craftsmanship's horrible then they even threw in the uh the quality assurance tag so number two quality assurance let that fly another turd in a fancy box as far as i'm concerned it's got a nice book quality assurance makes you get all warm and fuzzy think your uh, your batteries look great and then uh, and then crack it open and you got this turd here so very disappointed in this battery pull capacity uh, it was very well sealed but this the, this is just unacceptable unacceptable I'm not gonna spend any more time I'm not gonna waste any more of my time or your time on this battery uh, I'm not gonna recommend this one Sorry, this is my first 100 amp hour that I don't actually recommend, just based off craftsmanship. And there's there's silicone in there. There's it's obvious that I couldn't have done that. I mean, there's silicone in there. Yeah, very very disappointed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.